Hey everyone, I'm Thermal 64 here, and today we are here to look at this new section of the Tower of Tims. No, but actually we're here for Balan Wonderworld on Steve. Now, we are here, however, to go ahead and go into Chapter 4 with this broken numbering, but let's, let's go before I make a whole other video on that. 1460 oh my god oh yeah we're gonna have to do some serious uh grinding for these gems here now i did get a little peek of act one here where there's actually like this whole thing about the windmill from a failed recording attempt the only thing i do know about it is that it's essentially like all wind like oh Okay, it's cool. It's actually still playing. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay. I was afraid that it wasn't going to play this little intro here. One thing, though, is I do think that it actually keeps the one statue I ended up... Oh, it didn't even collect that either? Okay, perfect, perfect. So, anyway, new ability. As you can probably guess, we're going to have to start using a lot of these hurt these fans over here, these gusts of wind, with the soaring sheep. I mean, I get it, it's just... And we got these guys, I don't even know if we can actually attack them this way. So now with the arrow acrobat, apparently I now have the ability to do a homing attack. That's what it is. Whew, okay. This music like, is okay. It actually reminds me a little bit of Kanoa, if anything. No, two specifically. A game that we've also played on here. Huh? What was that? Hold on, let me see that again. I want to see that again. Hold on. Just look like this. God, that is so broken. And I mean this in the good way, because... Oh, good lord. Next time, I'm just gonna make sure I have the Soaring Sheep, because I was actually afraid that I was gonna fall through. Box Fox. When it feels like it, it even liter it even says that this transformation happens when it feels like it. So it's like, the best way to avoid getting hit by some- and keep in mind, I can't move this at all. I can already tell this is going to be one of those abilities I just don't end up using, like, ever. Hold on. God, that is so ridiculous. I love it. Okay, let's focus on progressing on this. Because now I actually have a decent attack now. Man, what is going on with the game here? Holy frick, hold on. I think this is a little bit better. I'm not sure what the frame drops were all about there. Wait, I just had a key. Oh. Wait, it's just for the sheep anyway, so let's just go. Oh, you know what? Perfect opportunity for this. You don't even have to- oh wait, frick, frick, frick! Combo breaker. No, I lost this awesome ability. I need that back. Like, I'm not gonna go back for it, but I need it back. Okay, let me just go ahead and focus on what I was actually trying to do here. I'm 
I'm guessing that's the next person we're needing to save from this shenanigan. Is there really no other way to get high up? Wait. What if? Okay. You, you gotta admit that it, it was a good idea at the time. Oh no, I'm stuck with it. Oh heck no. Look at this. I can't move. I literally can't move. <laughs> oh my god. Why did they make an ability like that? I can't believe they deliberately made something like that on purpose. Like, they made an ability that you cannot control, and it can does its own thing. And it even tells you that it does it when it feels like it. Most other games just give you that intuition, but this game, no, it just flat out tells you it wants to do with its own thing. But you know what? I can now attack them again. Look at all these gems I'm getting just from this combo, my goodness. I'm not sure if actually getting the combo is contributing to this or not. Like, there's, I feel like there's still a little bit of this game and I'm just not gonna understand for a hot minute. And Statue Ahoy. Well, let me get this checkpoint because I hate going all the way back there again. Nice. Oh, wait, can I use this? Oh, okay, but how do I get over there? It doesn't look like it's the same way. Yeah, I didn't think so. Because it doesn't look like there's a fan over here either. I don't think you can home- I don't think you can home into it, can you? Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. It looks like it's one of those other box things from Earth, from like the first part. I, I'm gonna have to assume that that's an end game, an end game kind of power wall. I swear if you fall. Uh, I'll just skip those. So if you touch the fan, like if you just touch it, now I'm, I know obviously the blades will probably hurt you, but I'm talking about like the, just the sides of it, like come on man. Boss time? Ah. Let's do this. Oh, you have to guess which one's the right one. But it doesn't even matter, because, like, by the time they... Like, believe it or not, two out of those three that I actually did land were just complete guesses. Complete guesses. So, wait. I'm guessing these were just here to avoid the attacks, and I see another statue. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, oh, wait, 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 okay, we got one of these things again. Oh, okay, yeah, so I gotta use this ability, but first...
Oh, heck yeah. <clears throat> now I know it's just how these things are organized. See, I could go down there to mess about with those balloons again, or even get those gems. But that would mean I'd have to go all the way back here, and I don't think I've even seen a checkpoint yet, so I think I'm gonna have to pass on that. Once I get a checkpoint, then I'll jump down. Oh, this is the end of the level, so I guess I'm gonna have to skip out for now. Can you skip? Oh, you can skip these. Cool. Because like I want to cut these down a just just by a little bit. I guess we can cut these two. So yeah, it looks like I'm missing about 15 more statues. Okay, so let's go to chapter 4, act 2, and then we can go on about feeding these beautiful tins. I think by now I'll probably hit about like a thousand once this part is done. Yo. Oh wait. Wait, is it does this take me back? What? You mean to tell me I could have just selected these costumes? You mean there's a way you can select the costumes? Bro, I oh my god. Like I legit did not know you can do this. Like if I had known this, do you know how much crazier this game would have been for me? So all you need to do to select it is just stand on this. And you gotta stand on it for a pretty long time too, my goodness. So you know what? Now that I know about this, even though I won't be part of this playthrough, backtracking this for 100% on my own time, is going to make this a heck of a lot easier. Oh my god. Wait. Oh. Anyway. Okay, yeah, the combo 100% does help with this. Oh, they can they can do damage to him too. Nice. Okay, th th this game legit just got a lot better knowing just knowing that I can swap the costumes at the beginning at any point. Wait, in fact, maybe not even just the beginning. Let me see if this happens at any checkpoint. Boy, oh, what? Okay, if I get close at all, he'll just dock. So wait. There we go. Oh my goodness. Nah, this was one hundred this was one hundred percent a game changer. Let me see if it works for every checkpoint though. That is amazing. Laser launcher? Aw, oh, come on. I knew I knew they were gonna do this. God dang it. Simply by standing still. Well that's kinda lame. Like that 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 just made this ability that sounded so awesome just sound so lame because like now all I'm doing is just standing still although I guess I can't really complain that I'm not missing out on jumping just because of this it's just such a weird way of doing it as well so 
So from the sounds of it, this is the game's intended ability for me to uh, get rid of these enemies here. Hey. Nope, 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 I'm not making that. And it seems like it's on a set interval too, so it doesn't matter how quick I try to stay and steal either. That had to have been something else. Oh, I gotta get this other switch. Or not. Platforming where you have this small jump and on top of it, you can't really do much beyond it is... Eh. Like, it'd be... F I feel like this would be a lot better if it wasn't just a fact that I have to stand still just to do this. Again, I'm not really complaining that it's like this over the fact that it's jumping. It's just more so the fact that that way you do this is just by standing still. I can't move this, can I? You know what? Maybe there's another ability in this section that can do this. Alright. Let's go to the actually really cool one. And the thing is you have to, and the thing is you have to be facing it. You can't let it do by itself. No, no. <laughs> oh. Let's see, did they give you the Okay, they do, so it's not really that bad of a deal. Hey. But yeah, you have to be facing it too. You can't just let it do it automatically just because it's in your general direction like you can with Sonic games. That's like the only caveat that says you have to be facing it. Okay, uh... Oh, I see what they want me to do here. So for this one, they want me to just hit these at different levels. But the one over there, they want me to hit all three at once with this beam ability. Not bad, not bad. I will say this though, when it comes to these kinds of puzzles where you have to aim it, I do like that. See? I will absolutely take two of these as opposed to two of these standing robots. Oh, frick. Ah! You can only stall for so long. Help! Oh, okay, okay. This one was not hard at all to get, oh my goodness. In fact, I don't even think I needed the sheep ability to get this one. Now to go back on the other hand. Okay. But what do you do? Wait, can you home into these and break it? No. Alright. Can I stand on you? And what do you know? Uh, I'll get to you in a bit, Balan. Let me check everywhere first. Okay.
Now, is it me, or did I get, like, a lot better with the timing? Hey, at least try, at least try to sound supportive. Anyway. Oh, shoot. Okay, it looks like it's gonna be one of these scenarios. Where the heck do I go? I really have to get on this thing just to make the end goal here. Because I see the goal on it, too. I'm giving y'all the luxury, by the way, and not having to sit through this. I'm honestly curious. Is there a statue on this thing? Oh, that just... What the... But it also might be wonder, is there a statue on this thing by chance? We will not be finding out on this because I'm just trying to get out of here. I could have skipped all that, but nah. It, it was too much of a beauty for me to skip. Alright, let's see. Alright, doesn't look like it, so let's just go ahead and get on out of here. Yeah, yeah, let's go. His frustration of failures made him turn out like this. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of deep, guys. Like, this game has some serious messages with these dreams. Yeah, and now his failures, his past failures are now upon us. Yeah, you would just aim at it like you would play a freaking song game. This is actually pretty cool. This game just gets the leniency because this is not what I'm expecting to do. But here's the thing, it's like they mentioned that there's like three different styles on how you attack the boss. But you only get two of the powers, which makes me wonder how you make the third one happen. Okay, I can guess what happens here with the second one, but... Like I said, this is just a guess. I'm not. Oh, okay, okay. So when it gets bigger like this, this is when I can hit it. Okay. Maybe a third stall, I'll just have to bring the costume into it. For now, let's just play how it should be.
we cleared his frustrations, and now he's soaring towards happiness. No, guys, seriously, it's crazy how the message, how deep the message is. All right. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and take care of chapter five in the next part. So. This is our Taurus Hits War sign. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay insane, stay natural fuel. Stay tuned to Just Ready Alive. And of course, as always, huh? stay wonderful. Almost especially, stay wow!